Recently, there was a bit of a fiasco at the University of Toronto when a group of radical feminists pulled a fire alarm in order to stop a men's rights seminar in progress at the university. You can see a large group of protesters yelling in the hallway just outside the MRA group's meeting while campus security muddles around like a lost child, powerless to get them to stop disrupting. The fire alarm then goes off and the feminists cheer like banshees ecstatic that they've used bully tactics to silence the opposing point of view. The confrontation continued outside as the fire trucks showed up full of firefighters whose time has been wasted by these mindless cackling cunts. Now I should warn you guys that the person I'm about to show you is the least likable person ever. Like, you will become nauseous. If you've eaten recently, I guarantee you that you need to go to the other... Pause the video. Pause it. Go to the other room, get a bucket, get a container, set it on your lap, because there's a good chance you will vomit. Roll the clip. If you shut the fuck up and let me read my list, there's the fucking proof. And so I, can't, I obviously can't, like, read that song. So, number one, number one, shut the fuck up for a second. Feminists do not want you to lose custody of your children. The assumption that women are naturally better caregivers is part of patriarchy. Her, isn't she pleasant? She seems like the kind of girl that, uh, you know, she'd go to a restaurant and order her sandwich with extra mustard and then they'd bring it to her and she'd take a bite and she'd throw it across the room and be like, I told you no mustard on this! I like the part in the video where she leans in, like, at the end where she's like, GET IT, DUMBASS! Let's take a look at the platform of the group being protested, shall we? The name of the group is, uh, Cafe. Canadian Association for Equality. Their website is equalitycanada.com and you'd be hard-pressed to find anything misogynistic on their website. That's the crazy thing. It looks at it, listen to the charter of this company. One, to advance education by providing workshops, seminars, conferences, debates, and lectures on topics relating to equality, diversity, human rights issues, especially on gender equality. Two, to provide a platform for the collaboration of existing organizations interested in the topic of equality, diversity, and human rights issues. Three, to undertake consciousness-raising outreach activities, especially in the areas of gender equality routinely ignored. Four, to utilize new multimedia like podcasts, videos, blogs, and social networking to engage the public in dialogue on equality, diversity, and human rights issues, especially on gender equality. Five, to actively engage in public policy debates through media releases and the availability of a series of experts in relevant subject matter. Six, to provide support for individuals whose equality rights have been denied. Equality, 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 gender equality, gender equality, gender equality. You can see why the feminists don't like this fucking organization. Gender equality? Pfft. The feminists are like, ah, that shit was so 1920s. Don't you know we got a new platform now? Female supremacy. I mean, does this group sound radical to anyone? I mean, okay, the feminist argument is that this is just their, their safe-sounding front, but d if you really dig deeper into the organization, you'll find the scathing misogyny. Well, I have dug deeper, and I invite other people to do so as well. EqualityCanada.com. Go there, check it out for yourself. I challenge you to find something misogynistic in the group's literature, in their videos, anywhere. I think we all know who the fucking real radicals are at these events, and I've prepared a little clip show to help you out just in case you haven't figured it out yet. Let's see who the monster really is, Scoob. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. You're fucking scum. You are fucking scum. Fucking rape apologist, incest supporting, woman hating, fucking scum. Is there someone else I can wait to Scum. Yeah, just no, another. I just, I just want to listen to someone else's opinion. I'm not even on a side here. I just listen as many people as I can. You know what, though? Why would you pay money to fucking support a fucking rape apologist if you weren't fucking one? Well, it's fucking scum. 
over professional goals, how, thus minimizing their earning potential and their traditional marriages end. The assumption. I'm reading the face of the camera. I'm trying to fucking. I'm letting everybody else hear it, okay? Not just for you, Mr. Entitled. The assumption. I'm a spy! Very good, you can yell. How about we talk rationally? Why, why do we have to get off the campus? What are you so afraid of? Why, you know, what are you so afraid of in the I'm discourse? Here. I belong. You're asking us that question. I helped build this university. So you're afraid of questions? We're afraid of fucking questions! We're afraid of you guys. Really? So feminism having the only, dis only narrative is not fascist? I think I finally figured out modern day feminism. It's it's basically there's a lot of these girls and women who are completely unlikable cunts who are shrill and annoying and evil. And they think that no one likes them because they're women. But really, no one likes them because they're horrible fucking people. <laughs> And then people see that shit, and we're even more like, ugh, ugh, keep that shit the fuck away from me. And that just uh, strengthens their victim complex. It just, you know, validates it in their minds. Like, see how everyone hates us? That's proof that women are oppressed. No, women are not oppressed. Horrible, evil, cackling bitches who silence dissent and treat everyone like shit. They're not liked. It's not women that we don't like. It's you. You understand? I'm glad we, all, we were able to figure this out. Now we can all just go back to living our lives. And, you know, feminism's over. The MRA thing is over. Let's just let's forget about all this shit. And just, let's just talk about gender equality. Let's just talk about gender equality without relating it to one gender or the other. You know, you can't have gender equality if you're too busy focusing on women's issues or men's issues. These are human issues. Stop it! Stop the needlessly divisive bullshit! I'm the Amazing Atheist. <sighs> My book is Neckbeard Uprising. You can buy it down below. Shut the fuck up for a second! <laughs>